What's up, everybody, and welcome to ITG Daily, the show that brings you the hottest in gaming news. I'm Drew Bosley. That's the one, the only. It is Scott Savage. Scott, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm very excited, and I'm going to have a very hard time holding that in, okay? So <laughs> we're taking a look and recapping what happened in the Nintendo Direct. Yes. And a lot happened. It's for sure. We have a lot to go over, but before we get there, people can normally join us live every day, Monday to Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern over on twitch.tv slash the official ITG, as well as YouTube at youtube.com slash the official ITG. But if you can't join us live, hit us up later inside the game.ca podcast services, TV streaming networks around the globe. Scott, just like you said at the top of the show, dude, it's all Nintendo today. They had 40 minutes of showcase to show us. Dude, this is your episode if I ever saw one. <laughs> It was a jam-packed 40 minutes. First, I want to just address the pacing of the show. It sure. seemed very solid to me, although 40 minutes could be kind of long if you don't have enough to show for it. But yep. I think there was a lot to show for it, beginning with Pikmin 4. Now, Pikmin is something I haven't seen a lot of since Pikmin 2, really. Uh -huh. But Pikmin 4 not only looks beautiful, it looks like it has quite a lot to play through, a lot of fun to be had there, and a lot of Pikmin to lose, as it were. <laughs> Dude, I go all the way back to, like, Lemmings. If anybody, there's a shout-out to Lemmings, if anybody recalls that game at all. But, yeah, Pikmin kind of picks up after that pace. Dude, it's, it's very Pikmin-esque. It does look like it's going to be another successful title coming out of Nintendo. Um, there's the Tiny Kin is the similar one that I drew comparison to. Tiny sure. Kin being on the Game Pass Xbox side. And, well, we just haven't seen anything in the Pikmin space in forever. So it's nice to see that return. I'm hoping there's not a scarcity as there was in Pikmin 3. That got a little dicey. Yep, yep. <laughs> that is set to release on July 21st. It was, coming up very shortly. It was one of the very few actual release dates we had at a yesterday's showcase, I think, which was kind of nice to see. At least something got released, uh, at least a release date, and a couple other surprises, too, Scott. What else do we have? Oh, the surprises got me, but we'll get to those shortly. We do have news on the expansion pass, Volume 3 for Xenoblade, and this brings new characters and presumably a whole new story arc to do with them as well. Xenoblade is an incredibly intense, very anime-styled <laughs> JRPG. That really is what it is. We've done a review on that very recently. I want to say yep. two weeks ago. Yeah, man, is it already uh, two weeks ago? Holy time flies! Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's uh, it's one. How did you think about what did you think about Fire Emblem Engage? Oh, I really like Fire Emblem Engage. And we did get more information on that as well in Expansion Pass. Now, Wave 2 of the expansion is out today. I'm not certain exactly what that entails, but it can be certainly Another character. new characters. Yeah. yeah, a few new scenarios to run through. That's generally what there is to the game. It's After cool. Xenoblade expansion, we had a title, Samba di Amigo. Amigo. Samba de Amigo. There we go. <laughs> I suspect that is Spanish. And that is releasing this summer. That looked to be a really interesting kind of motion control <laughs> rhythm game. Dude, this looks like the... I'm going to say it. Dude, it looked like the shovelware that they put back on this on the uh, Wii way back uh, when that came around. Dude, like, we, we had so many of these games there. And it kind of reminded me of that. Uh, we'll see who, oh, we who have wants to, to play this, but I don't know. It wasn't we have to keep... Ubisoft and the Just Dance, we have to That's... keep them on their toes. They have to, <laughs> yeah. healthy competition is good for everybody, in my opinion. Yep, yep, absolutely. Well, we'll we had that. another title. I don't think this one struck you very strong. This is Fashion Dreamer, 2023 release date, very broad release. And that seemed to be, well, all about, I don't remember Mies from back in the day. It seemed like Mies, but grown up. They're taller, they're full people now, and yeah. you are customizing them dressing them as you see fit <laughs> dude it was it was bizarre to see this trailer hit and i was like what is going on here and then yeah it's i find i found the direct got better as it went along but there was definitely a bit of a slow start for my taste in particular no that's fair it, i agree with you it certainly did pick up towards the end and yeah. i think that's a good direction as well we have dead cells return to castlevania now was, that has me very <laughs> excited that was a big Dead one. Cells, Dead Cells being, um, from my understanding, quite difficult. Kind of the 
encompasses the all-encompassing Metroidvania, and I really want to get back into it. So to see that it, by title, has the return to Castlevania, I think this is the time for me to get in. Yeah, this one I never jumped in. Everybody talked about how difficult this game was, and I kind of watched from afar. Dude, this game is fantastic. I know how, you know, I can appreciate what it is. I know how many people love this game, and you only hear good things. Dude, you don't hear a bad thing about it, right? So the Mm -hmm. fact that they keep it going, and then they add in the Castlevania stuff too, like, yo, that's a huge get. Nice move. Huge updates in that title for what must be three years now. I'm not actually certain exactly when Dead Cells released, but constantly ginormous episodes, and this is no different. I'm happy to see that. Yep. We moved on from there to Tron Identity. I believe I've heard about a third Tron movie, a soft reboot, sort of. I don't know much about that. I'm Personally, I hope it has Jeff Bridges in it, and therefore, I hope this game has Jeff Bridges in it. We'll see. Dude, no, it looks cool. I don't see enough of him lately. Nope, not at all. We have one that really excited me, actually. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. <laughs> and that's releasing sometime this summer. I really like the idea of that. It kind of gives me this... Oh, it reminds me of several games simultaneously. Yeah. But uh, a lot of games that I haven't played. So I think this is the one to get into. Definitely looks quirky, right? It has that Nint- Nintendo style to it, I think, that people are going to enjoy. Mm-hmm, certainly. I'm really trying to remember. I think it's Soul Suspect is the game I'm trying to think of. Ah, yep, that's a good one. That's funny. It was. <laughs> then we have Deca Police. Yep. And that releases in 2023. I'm sort of drawing a blank on that one. Dude, it was the one that pulled off with the like the, the cool car maneuver through the beginning. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, it, it very stylized, very, very cool uh, from a different perspective. And probably one I am, again, not going to touch. Scott, there's a lot of that with the Nintendo games that are coming out. A lot of that in the Nintendo Direct. But I know, again, right, you just go back to this is definitely catering to an audience. And it's funny to see where you get PlayStation and Xbox on one side. And then you have Nintendo. And you got to go, what are they doing over there? Nintendo's kind of always gone to the beat of their own drum. And it's really paid off, right? They have their own little following kind of thing. And it's really built up well. I know a lot of people are losing their mind over today's or yesterday's Direct. So that's really great to see. And then, then Deck of Police does look very interesting. And somebody's going to be playing that one for sure. Definitely. There's Bayonetta Origins. Cereza and the Last Demon. Now that is coming on March 17th, so we're not terribly far away from that. About all. And I'm really excited to see. This is the Bayonetta I want to get into. There is quite a bit of controversy surrounding Bayonetta 3. Yeah. I'm not certain what the result of that was, really. Um, in terms of who is on the cast, I'm not certain with this game. But yeah. the new kind of revived idea of it, it's a third person, but it's far kind of orthographic almost and i really like the look of it i think i'm in on this one dude it is very stylized right bayonetta never really been my kind of game but yet here we get into something a little bit different you kind of referred to it as a brighter um tim burton style right so yeah very very cool uh, th- actually i might actually have to check it out scott it's one of those mm-hmm. holy maybe i will play this one does look cool <laughs> we'll i'm so happy that as we push forward with technology we're we're still not, we don't need everything to be hyper realistic. At least this is my opinion here. I really yeah, have fair. an appreciation for the, the beautiful art styles, and Nintendo is king for that. They certainly are, Scott. And we do have more information on Splatoon. Splatoon 3, the expansion pass, at least this chunk of the expansion pass, is out already. And the side order is another piece of the expansion pass. It is a little complicated here but that is not quite out yet that seems to be coming later on down the road now you're right I, into splatoon are you like you're a big fan for we actually went to a nintendo event last summer and it was catered around splatoon you even got your own hat there scott which is kind of funny so it's uh, it was just me and the nintendo people wearing the hat too i was disappointed in my <laughs> in my peers dude it was this came on yesterday and i was like who's still playing splatoon there's gotta be somebody still playing it it's just i haven't heard it in our circles for so long that i'm kind of shocked so the fact yeah. that they keep pumping out more content is great dude it's always it's funny it's expansion passes like that was something so long ago where now we're into season passes 
So I'm kind of curious about how Nintendo lines their uh, strategies up here. But Splatoon, oh. very unique style game and uh, definitely lighthearted, Scott. <laughs> Oh, definitely lighthearted. And just try not to look too deeply into what people draw on that. Some of that can be um, graphic, we'll say. Mm. Amazing venue otherwise. I really like Splatoon. There's nothing like it. Dude, the side have... order looked cool, though. I think that was, I was like, hey, what is this? And then I found out it was more Splatoon. It's like, well, that's yeah. interesting. So. It looks a little different. They're playing with the style a bit there. Yeah, <laughs> very. Another title, Illusion Island. And that's set to release on July 28th. That's one again, I'm not quite certain. At, a, at this point in the show, they really started rolling through a lot of different trailers. So some of them don't quite have a good timestamp in my memory. No, for sure. This one's that Disney game, dude. It looked fantastic. Oh, that did look really nice. It looked awesome. I was like, yo, this is kicking back old school stuff. They're talking about, hey, you do this and do that. I'm like, none of that stuff is revolutionary. We've done it all before. <laughs> they retitled the double jump. Yeah, right. <laughs> like It's just things like that. And yeah, if you crash through this, then you can drop down. I'm like, no kidding. We've done these before, right? But it's, yeah, the ground pound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, man, like we've been doing this for decades. So it's just one of the, it's that a lighthearted approach where Nintendo takes like, a, I almost feel like we haven't played games before in a sense. <laughs> so, but either way, dude, it's four person player, co-op player uh, at once, which is cool to see. Disney, love Disney. I love the characters. So we got Mickey, Donald, Minnie, and Pluto. So uh, like, or Goofy, sorry. And we're all there ready to go. So this looks cool yeah, to me. Pluto, that's a that's, Earthbound character. Well, that's also uh, Goofy's dog. So yeah. Oh, okay. But July 28th. So that's not really all that far away. So that's kind of cool to see as well. Dude, I'm pretty a pumped lot of, for that one. A lot of place for platformers here. I'm excited. Yep. <clears throat> What's entirely not a platformer is Fire Emblem's Engage. Oh, the expansion pass is out today, and that is Wave 2 of the expansion. Fire mm -hmm. Emblem, one that I've just recently spent a lot of time on, and Fire Emblem Engage captured me. I'm really excited about that one. A review is posted. If you can't tell from my demeanor, I was uh, <laughs> very satisfied. I'm glad you took that one, because I, like, I can't do this. We were talking about it on the stream, and there's just I have a hard time getting into the anime stuff, but yeah. It's oh. a lot of people love it. Yeah, if you are anime um, phobic, this is not the game for you. <laughs> but that's okay. It is for somebody, as we've said a few times during this show. Yep. Harmony: The Fall of Reverie from Don't Mo from Sorry Don't Nod. That game looked really nice. I don't think we had a um, release date on that one. Dude, I had no idea this was coming. The minute it said Don't Nod, I was like, Yo, what is this? Yo, yo I need in. I gotta play it. So. This is one I'll actually be grabbing my Switch for, which is kind of nice to say. I believe it's coming out in July. So, June. It's coming out in June. So, dude, that's exciting. This game looks awesome. Stylized. Very stylized. Very cool. Oh, stylized. Perfect segue into Octopath Traveler 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's set to release on the 24th. Are you going to play it? I really want to. I haven't played the first one, and I'm not certain if that matters too much. Hmm, let me... I'll talk to Square. <laughs> you put in a good word for me. No, I'll talk to them. Now we have a remaster, I believe it was, of Katamari. Katamari Reroll is the title here. I'm not certain which Katamari, if this is the original or one of the many sequels. But the bottom line is, new Katamari coming <laughs> back around. <laughs> Just keeps rolling. <laughs> <laughs> very good we have <laughs> sea of stars and that is set to release on august 29th i'm not certain i recall that one that uh, was another rpg one yeah dude the next one was cool though omega strikers omega strikers available on april 27th yeah that was the one confusing because it's set to be free to play but you can also pre-order it like what are you pre-ordering if it's free to play very yeah can i kind of confused by that one but dude that looks cool Kittens, maybe yeah i don't know maybe right yeah i don't know yeah. early access who knows but the game yeah. looks really cool it'd be a ton of fun i think to play then we went to etrian odyssey origin collection and that is releasing on june 1st again uh, jrpg i have not spent time on this one but certainly looks nice one i had spent some time on 
many years ago now. It must have been the original DS. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 is now set to release April 21st. Those are remasters, I believe, of the older games. I think it was on DS that I played. Yeah, it's nice. I know a lot of people were waiting for this and they were hoping for an actual release date. We saw the delay due to some world events, which is unfortunate to, to even discuss at these times. But it's one of those, yeah, they had to push it back. And now we finally got the release date. People are really, really excited to see this. So that's cool to see. I'm, I'm hoping that's a clean release as well. After the trouble it's had. Yep. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe releases February 24th, just around the corner. I'm very excited for that one. I really, really appreciated the last Kirby game we had. Yes, you did. You did like that one a lot, didn't you? Yeah, I'm realizing now I seem to be the Nintendo um, you are leg of the show here. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> That's a horror and Nintendo. An awkward match, but I like it. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yeah. There was many Game Boy games, original Game Boy games, and also Game Boy Advance games that are coming out to the Switch. I'm not clear which ones because they rolled through very many of them. There yeah. was one that stood out to me. I don't think we have this noted anywhere else this is my time wario land 3 <laughs> wario land 3 was one of the titles coming and amazing memories uh, i loved that game so much i cannot wait to jump through it again dude nintendo just keeps going we're gonna go way back and we're gonna go <laughs> way back you think we've gone back no we're going even further back and then they keep releasing games and you just keep buying them all like i want to see some new stuff in nintendo I don't want to go back in, but yeah, I know there's a nostalgia oh. pull for a lot of people, so there is that. So, Though the go, nostalgia Scott. pull only began with Wario Land 3 because it moved on to the original Metroid Prime being remastered, and there are only two things that I request from Nintendo. That was Wario Land 3 and Metroid Prime 1. We're getting that on the Switch finally. Uh, a shakeup in controls. You can customize that to some degree. Yeah. And I am here for that. They also stealth dropped it. It is available now. Dude, what a move from Nintendo to be able to do this, right? I think a lot of people do. Even when this came up, I was like, no way. Really? Like, wow, what a move. This is great. Now, I just as much as I just ranted about old, <laughs> old games, right? In this case, I know how many people are a fan of the franchise me i've never played them i'm gonna be right up front so for me i'm just happy for other people to get the original back in their hands once again so that's exciting oh, dude it's super exciting to i see am that. so excited well i was hoping for prime 4 a yeah. little bit of a tease at sure. least it had been four years since that had gone through a shakeup, a restart of development but yeah. this is a very good consolation prize i have to say <laughs> moving on from that we went to world of detective origination that was a unique and one. Dude, that was weird. That was a unique one. Yeah, it looked yeah. interesting to me. It was giving me reminders of um, Phoenix Wright. Uh, Unrelated entirely, but I just need to play <laughs> Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Batten Katos 1 and 2 Remastered is arriving sometime this summer. Not sure of a clear date, but again, that was another another IP that I've seen over the years, but I have not dipped my toe. Yeah, I... Uh... I've never heard of it at all. So when I saw this pop up, I went, well, I don't know what this is. And then I saw it, and I think, who's going to play this one? I'm definitely curious if you are going to play this. Hit it up. Hit us up at uh, the official ITG on Twitter. I'd like to know what game you actually like the most coming out of Well, I got my favorite, so that's for sure. But what game <laughs> did you like the most coming out of the Nintendo Direct yesterday? What oh, I'd love to speak about Nintendo just in general. That's fair. <laughs> Fantasy Life, The Girl That Steals Time. That one had my interest. So it's that crossover with like Animal Crossing. It's got a touch of that. And I, Animal Crossing. And, and what I saw was a similarity to Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Sure. If anybody remembers that game from way back oh, yeah. on the GameCube, they have put it out on Switch that is available. But it, that kind of not serious combat mixed mm. with Animal Crossing, I'm interested. Very cool. Dude, it was very cool to see. I'm actually, this looks neat. I want to give that a shot. I did like Animal Crossing, and we got a mixture here. But yeah, I'm down for that. I've not played an Animal Crossing game. Oh, but this, would be, this would be my foot in, I think. <laughs> Mario Kart Wave 4 
of DLC is now coming out. It includes Yoshi's Island, a brand new map racetrack, Birdo as a character, and that is supposed to release spring of this year. So this, what wave was this, Scott? Wave four, I believe. Dude, after this, there's still four more to go. We, we are <laughs> yeah. never going to get another Mario Kart game. They should have called it Mario Kart Ultimate. Uh, like Smash Bros. Uh, Ultimate. Uh, uh, yeah. Just include everybody. Yeah, yeah. We're getting to that point, I think, right? So it's cool. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, they're still going with it. Uh, Mario Kart, man, it's hard to go wrong, right? Honestly. So it's fantastic. Oh, and the only competition of it died out 20 years ago. Rest in peace, Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> now, Minecraft Legends was shown off. Something we've already seen before, but it is coming to the Switch, not to be forgotten. Yep. And Blanc? Blank? Mm. That's releasing on February 14th. Blanc. It's French. Blanc. With I, the that's C, how I know that one must so well. Blanc. Yep. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Oh, and the last, so the last throwaway request I had from Nintendo as we're going, okay, the only thing else I remember right now, Mega Man Battle Network. I believe I had three white, and oh, I don't need a yearly release. That's what they did, and it fizzled out over time, but this is a collection. It's all coming to the Switch all together now. That's all I ever could have asked for. Yeah, they went on a bit of a montage of here's uh, a bunch of games coming out and stuff like that, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, they went to WBSC Baseball. Mm -hmm. And then from there to Disney Dreamlight. Yeah. And then Tales of Symphonia. There you go. Yeah, dude, it's uh, uh, it's cool. But they they ended it off with what, Scott? Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'll go on to your side. Tears. It is Tears. Don't argue with me. It's got... (laughs) <laughs> I've yet to hear it read aloud by an uh, official source. I've heard it. I've heard it. That's what I'm going with. Uh, dude, this is a highlight, right? Like, there's a couple things that really stood out to me. And this was, man, everybody's hungry so much for this game. It looks incredible. I can't wait to dive in. And this is one I'll definitely grab my Switch for. How pumped are you? Oh, I'm super excited. Breath of the Wild is not my favorite Zelda game, I have to say. That's an unpopular opinion. That's, that's but weird. I'm hoping that this game kind of gets me over that. And it seems to. It looks like it addressed a lot of what's going on in the first one. It's very cool. I think there's a lot to, to enjoy from the direct. Scott, what are your overall thoughts? I'm really satisfied with this presentation. Um, it seemed to have come out of nowhere. I wasn't really expecting to see a Nintendo Direct until earlier this week, really. And now that we've got it, I'm very satisfied with what's coming forward. I'm in that part of the Nintendo fan cycle where I'm I'm happy again and I'm ready to eat up. <laughs> well, it looks like there's going to be a lot to eat, Scott. There's, that's for sure. Uh, the highlight, dude, we're, we actually got a release date for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom as well. May 12th. May 12th. They've nailed that down. Now, as you said at the beginning of the show, let's see how much of this moves. But Well, yeah. That, yeah, that is my other concern, right? Because a lot of it, they just put 2023. It kind of leaves yeah. in the summer 2023, and then spring 2023. And then very few games actually had concrete release dates on them. So it's one of those things. Like, uh, we'll see what happens with this game and what happens with that game. The one from Don't Nod, Harmony there, uh, you know, I want in. I, that, that's one of my go-tos for, for this direct. Obviously, Zelda, of course, as well. What do you think of the pacing overall? I think the pacing was really, really well done. There's a section in the middle, maybe the second half of the middle, that I lost track of what was going. Uh, we were taking yeah. notes and we're talking about games as they're coming out. And it, it felt like they kind of ran through on fast forward for several titles. But sure. overall, I was very satisfied. And I'm still just reeling that Metroid Prime <laughs> stealth drop. That's how to do it. Yeah, you gotta love the stealth drops, man. If they're able to keep that hidden. That's the biggest thing. We do. We cover so many leaks on a regular basis. That was not leaked at all. Nobody caught wind of that, oh. right? So it was really awesome. Scott, dude, just like that, though, my friend, it's over. This has been ITG Daily, the show that brings you the highest in gaming news. You can only normally join us live at 11 a.m. Eastern over on Twitch and YouTube at the official ITG. But if you can't join us live, hit us up later inside the game.ca podcast services and TV streaming networks around the globe. Until tomorrow, everybody, I'm Drew. That's Scott. We'll see you inside the game.